So um, I always ask everybody who comes through here because I get a lot of creative people that stop by the Romeo Divine Radio Show. I agree. I get poets, rappers, singers, comedians, and I always ask them one question is that uh, in whatever they do, whatever their craft is, uh, since you've been doing hip hop and taking it serious and beyond a hobby, yes, what's been sort of like the most beautiful moment you've had? Uh, was it you did a show one time and somebody came up to you afterwards, or mm-hmm. was it a was it an aha moment? Mm-hmm. Please, um, the I think the the most monumental thing, for lack of a better word, to date for me mm-hmm. is um, if you all remember Jin the MC. He's a Chinese rapper that was signed to Rough Riders. Yeah, uh, I remember a him. while back, um, mm-hmm. due to his success on on um, on a, a television show's contest every Friday. Sure. Um, he was out of Miami, Florida, right? Well, yeah, well, yeah, there and um, New York, but okay. um, but yeah, he's uh, he was signed to them, and most recently, he actually creates um, uh, Christian hip hop music now, oh, okay. and he and he lives in China. The point is. Um, we were tweeting back and forth and he started following me. So you, you guys met each other on Twitter? We have, yes. This is yes. recently? Uh, within the last year. Okay. And then, um, I sent him a sample of the song that I performed for your show. And he stole it and made it. No, I'm just Pretty kidding. much. No, no, he, uh, no, he, uh, <laughs> no he, we're he, only he, joking. Right. He enjoyed it very much uh-huh. and he, um, actually quoted me back my own line in an email and pretty much gave me a kudos so like something like that, it was it was an extreme confidence booster. Mm-hmm. You know, someone that's been there, done it. Um, especially, and I, I do have to admit, a lot of it has to come from him being Asian, because um, and yeah. that's where Romeo was getting at earlier. Yeah. I am Asian. My father's Vietnamese and my mother's Filipino. Okay. Um. Yeah, you don't look like most rappers. <laughs> yeah. Right. So um, that I think would be the most memorable monumental mm-hmm. thing to date because that really pushed me over the edge to want to do better because it was recognition mm-hmm. um from someone that had lots of credibility so Still do, does. You, do you think you guys will collaborate in the future i'm hoping for it fingers are crossed um i have my electronic press kit coming out soon and he actually submitted a question so oh wow yeah so we're we're back and forth um that's pretty cool often. man that's awesome let me ask you um I noticed before I met you and we were sort of communicating back and forth because you were on the Romeo Divine TV show, which right. we just filmed a few weeks ago. Yes. Uh, you guys can check that out on YouTube. Just Google Romeo Divine. Like my business card says, just Google me. <laughs> just Google. <laughs> Do it. But uh, I noticed that you have some pretty good marketing. I was looking at some of your stuff on YouTube. You've got that whole angel vibe where you've got the picture of yourself in a white suit with wings yes. behind you. That's actually a pretty cool picture. Thank you. And yes. I was like, okay, hmm, mm-hmm. this dude's got sort of like an edge, <laughs> man. You know, I got to take some tips from this guy. Oh, no, no, not at all. That's um, All of that was done. Um, That photo was actually taken. It's obviously two photos. Mm-hmm. Um, It was on Tuesday, so I couldn't split myself in half that day. Mm-hmm. Uh, But we took two separate photos and put it together. Mm-hmm. Um. Christopher Pandoliano mm-hmm. out of Fayetteville, North Carolina. He's mm-hmm. my photographer when I lived there. Mm-hmm. Um, still really great friends. You can follow him on Twitter. I believe his his Twitter is still the Panda sixty one. The Panda sixty one. Yes, T H E Panda mm-hmm. sixty one. I believe. Um, you can definitely check him out. Um, he does great work. I actually trying to get him to uh do my brother's um wedding photos when they have their wedding. Um, but yes, uh, we took that and all the concept was a collaboration between him and myself. I rarely do anything on my own when it comes to something that large. Yeah. Um, we downtown Fayetteville, North Carolina, that statue with the wings mm-hmm. behind, it's a statue of an angel. Oh, and, okay. um, and I pretty much just stood in front of it to mm-hmm. where it would seem like the wings yeah. would come from myself. It was actually pretty cool. Now, we've talked about the good side and the great experiences you've had. Yes. Have you ever had those moments where you said, you know what? <laughs> Maybe this is oh, not gosh. for me. We, have you ever had those moments? I have. We all have. And um, I actually was talking about this to one of my fellow rappers, um, mm-hmm. Microwave. Uh, microwave. It's on Twitter, it's Microwave NC. Shout out to Microwave, Fayetteville, yes. North Carolina, Indeed. in the house once again. Yes. Go Vietnam, ahead. as some people call it. Exactly. You exactly. know what you call a Fayetteville virgin, right? A woman with three kids. <laughs> 
I'm serious, man. Is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> I've uh, never heard that. A Fayetteville virgin, a woman with three kids. Well, there we go. Vietnam, brother. <laughs> Vietnam. Big time. That's no disrespect to Fayetteville. I'm Not just giving all. them a shout out. Yep. Much love for Fayetteville. Special Indeed. forces down there in the house. Yes, yes. Uh, because of Romeo Divine Radio Show, we do support the troops. That's we support correct. the men and women in uniform. Mm-hmm. So yeah. shout out to everybody around the world who's listening, who's serving our country, wherever you may be. We appreciate your service. So let's get back to these moments where you've almost said, maybe this right. is not for me. Right. Maybe I should not quit my day job. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we, I definitely felt discouraged um, because of, I like that term. I felt discouraged. Yes, yes. Because because of the lack of um, notoriety and things of that nature. Um, but then I had a conversation with with microwave and he was he was just telling me how not to give up. Um, and, and I do the same for him. And it's just that support system, really. I think anyone, well, I know for a fact that anyone can do anything that they want to do. If you want to let Romeo, if you want to learn how to fly tomorrow, you're probably going to be able to do it. Yeah, if you're willing to put in the time. Exactly. And not get discouraged. Exactly. I totally agree with that. Yep. Uh, most people can almost do anything they want to do if they're willing to put the time and effort into it's it. It's true. It's true. And now, you got to be sort of realistic, but you can even do <laughs> things that some people think are impossible. Of course. As long as you're willing to put the time into it. And that's that's what I think discourages most people because right. they don't get instant feedback or instant right. positive results. Right. Then they sort of say, well, you know, this is not working. I'm not making any progress. I agree. Yep. So what's kept you when you've had those moments where mm-hmm. you've felt discouraged, as you like to say, right? when you've just felt discouraged, what kept you from continuing on the journey? Uh, continuing on a journey, that's, that's, that's a great word because I use that a lot. And a lot of people, they're so fixated on the destination. It's the journey, brother. And it is the journey. Amen, my brother. <laughs> it is a journey, <laughs> indeed. Um, so definitely that's what it is, like the journey, learning meeting new people, um, being able to really stop and smell the roses mm-hmm. when you can. Um, yeah. you know, because I, I know that it's the experience that makes me a better person, not the fact that I've reached a certain point. For example, like some people will say Will Smith had a had a um, an interview a couple years ago, like, like almost 100 years ago when Independence Day first came out. He said, Will, how, how do you know you've made it? He's, and he, he replies, well, I didn't make it. It's like, well, what do you mean? Well, because each time I achieve a goal, I just have another goal. Yeah. And I think if you continue to have that mindset of, okay, I've done this, mm-hmm. so now I'm going to do this because it's greater than what I've already done, mm-hmm. then you can't ever lose drive. You can't ever lose focus, yeah. and you won't be discouraged as much. Wow, man. Dude, you should go on the motivational speaker circuit, man. I'm you getting, are. <laughs> I'm getting goosebumps over are here, you? man. Oh, yeah? I can't yeah. tell with your long sleeve shirt, but I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely uh, uh you're not the first person to tell me that to be honest. So we're going to we're going to play some tracks from your uh you just didn't you just drop a mixtape recently um, are you about to drop a mixtape Well the the tracks that we're going to listen to mm-hmm. today mm-hmm. are from the third album that mm-hmm. I released um, which is entitled um Smart People Club subtitle Induction Ceremony Smart People Club subtitle <laughs> Induction Ceremony That's correct Smart People Club Induction Ceremony Yeah you are not the typical rapper with <laughs> titles like this usually it's like yo my nine right homies on the side right when my girl's at in the club mm-hmm. in the back of the cadillac i'm just making this stuff typically up. and i like it we should use that <laughs> I'll, I'll sample it i'm gonna download this. i'm gonna download this on the podcast when Holla it comes up, me. and i'm gonna sample it <laughs> na, 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 yeah na. but definitely the songs <laughs> here are from that release um but yes i did release uh something lately uh, a few months ago, it's my. It's called R three P three and a half. Mm-hmm. It's um. It's a. It's a pretty much like a remix album. Pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah, I take songs that are nowhere near hip hop. Um, for example, there are artists on there like the Backstreet Boys. There are okay. artists like I see what you're saying. Miranda Cosgrove and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, I remix the beat and uh, pretty much, and then I write a verse to it and mm-hmm. I plug it into the song and. Use it as a feature, Joe Jonas, um, things mm-hmm. like that. You know, That's just pretty cool, right? And release it without monetary value, so that I don't get clamped for anything. So, like for uh, example, who would you say some of your musical influences are? Oh wow, hip hop or mainstream or whoever. There's too many to name, but I'll go through the 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 main ones. Hip hop, yeah. it's definitely Wu Tang Clan. Uh, my older brother put me onto Wu Tang Clan back mm-hmm. in '97. Um, they're a big one. Um, all all most mostly all um stapled new york rappers um mm-hmm. nas big l um 
L O Cool J because he's from Queens. Uh, L L Cool right. J is right. hard as, as hell. hell. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, things like that. Uh, Backstreet Boys and Sync. Um, new like even even like Selena Gomez and Miranda Cosgrove and uh Backstreet Boys. Yeah, mm-hmm, definitely. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, they're they're definitely okay, inspirational that way. Because a lot of people don't know. Like I want it, it that <laughs> way. That's it. That's uh, yep for sure. Um. And you can have it too, according yeah. to uh, you know Burger King. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, different different people like that. Um, even bands like rock bands, like stuff like uh, uh, Yellow Card and um, yeah. um, Somerset. Yeah. And and even uh, a lot of a lot of underground people too. Uh, Joe Budden, Slaughterhouse. Yeah. Um, even uh, uh, there's there's this other Filipino rapper who's really huge. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is D Pride. I just started listening to this. Where's guy. he out of? Um, I believe he's out of California. I believe. Cali in the house. Yes, indeed, and I enjoy his his uh, music style. West side. Very much so. So. So um, you said Wu Tang Clan, huh? Wu Tang. That's it. All nine of them. The and original back, nine. And and Backstreet Boys. That's it. That's it. <laughs> nine and five and all that. Yeah. That's an interesting mix. Exactly. Um.